Tiana was the first Disney princess who had her own business and was determined to get it. She's really self-propelled, and um, now we have a few princesses that are moving more in that lane. But that was a big deal, you know? It was 1920s, it was the South, and she was a young black woman trying to make her way. It's pretty fantastic. It was actually John Musker and my idea to set it in New Orleans in the 1920s, the Jazz Age, and they have magic there. Magic is sort of real in New Orleans. You feel that magic kind of everywhere you go. Oh my gosh, I, well I love it just like everyone else, and I'm really proud of the movie. I think we all are. I found a stick! <laughs> I love this movie, and I love the effect that it's had, even 10 years later. It's a really wonderful film. I mean, the writing is great, the talent is fantastic. It was a wonderful thing to be a part of and I'm like uh, over the moon. It feels great to have taken part in what we knew at the time was going to be something that was going to be really historic for the studio uh, because they were doing something that was kind of a first really, kind of featuring African American characters as the lead. And so myself and a lot of animators really excited. When I look at any Disney film, I'm enthralled at the beauty. But then to know the deep, intricate work that goes into just one character, Everything about it was amazing. And you know you're gonna live forever. You do a Disney voice, you're gonna live forever. I mean, I can still uh, quote Snow White. <laughs>